Hello, my name is Youssef. Today, I will introduce a new Unity catalog feature that has been just released. Often, compliance requirements maintain that you need to keep certain data accessible only in certain environments versus others. And those requirements dictate that certain data sets or domains cannot be crossed or combined together. And an example could be dev and production. In Databricks, they consider a workspace to be an environment. And Unity Catalog has a feature that allows you to bind catalogs to a workspace. And this environment aware ACLs give you the ability to ensure that only certain catalogs are available within a workspace, regardless of the user's individual ACLs. This means that the Metastore admin or the catalog owner can define the workspace that a catalog can be accessed from. And this can be controlled via uh, our UI or the API, or of course, or also Terraform. So in this for, for this example, I'm taking, uh, like I have two uh, workspaces attached to the same Metastore, which is the one of. And now what I will do, I will go to the first workspace and here is the second one. So if I go to the first workspace, as you can see, I did create my catalog that I did call uh, production. Inside this catalog, I created a database uh, called HR. And then inside this HR database, I created a table called fake colleagues. And now you can see that I, I can access, of course, uh, of course, this data. So if I go to data, here and also in the other workspace because they are attached so you can see that i can i have access to this catalog production hr so fake legs and same thing over here so now what i will do i will bind this bind this catalog to workspace so by default every uh, catalog we are creating has the perm has like the eyes eyes the permission open or what we call uh what we call uh the uh, the isolation mode is uh open so what i will do i will just go and click here on workspaces and provoke this one and then i can just assign it to a single uh workspace so here i'm specifying that only one of us can be used to access this one so now you can see and as you will see uh, over here, so the Metastore admins can see all the catalogs. And for my case, I am the Metastore admin. And same thing for the catalog owners, regardless, of course, of the catalog uh, assignment. But of course, catalogs that are not assigned to workspace appear grayed out and no child objects are visible. And that's what we have over here. So no child object is visible and it's grayed out. And if I go to the other workspace, and just, let's just refresh this, you will see that I still have, uh, of course, access to uh, the catalog production. And we can you, we can do this, of course, through the UI, but it can also be done through the API. So you have this API, API call to turn your catalog in the isolation mode. And after uh, switching this catalog to isolate it, then you can assign it to one or uh, or other or multiple uh, multiple workspaces, and that's not the the only thing. You can also, and this is the second thing. I will uh, create a catalog dev, and this catalog dev, of course, will be accessible from any uh, in any special uh, workspace. And th that's the, the trick I want to show you, and I think this trick will be uh, will be useful, so I can also access it from from the other uh from the other uh environment we just refresh to have the catalog hr uh dev i mean sorry <laughs> it was yeah, I, yeah so this is the catalog so now what i will show you so sometimes like you know when you are switching from hive metastore to unity catalog you need to switch those three level namespace so the trick is that you can, and by default, of course, uh, the default the default catalog so far is Hive Metastore. But what you can do, you can assign a default catalog to a cluster, and that's the, that's what I did over here. So uh, I am running uh, um, without 
having to like add the use catalog, I'm just running hr.fakeleaks. And this will display uh, the data I have on the catalog, uh, the catalog dev without adding, of course, the tree level namespace. And what's the trick? You can, uh, uh, while creating your cluster, you can edit uh, the, the Spark configuration. So you see, I did access one. You can edit the spike Spark configuration and make sure to uh, define, let's say, a default, uh, a default catalog. And that's what I did over here. So you see, spark.databricks.sql initial catalog name, and the name was dev. And that was uh, today's uh, trick. Thank you. Thank you for uh, watching this video.